Hey folks, we finished the woodshed here today. Well, yesterday I should say. And I wanted to give you a quick walk through what we used and um, the dimensions and things like that. At the end of the video, I will make a list of everything I used um, lumber wise for sure. Um, I might add the paint and stuff like that. I'll have a rough price. I didn't keep all my receipts or everything. Um, well, I probably I did, but I don't. They're all over the place. So uh, let's do a real quick walkthrough. The shed itself is 12 foot long by five foot deep. Why did I use those dimensions? I have no idea. That's just what I chose. Um, I looked at plans on the internet, things I wanted to, you know, didn't really like anything I saw. So in my typical Lou fashion, I went ahead and uh, built it as I went along. Like I'd come to a problem with like, how do I want to do this? And I just figured it out. But to save you from doing that, if you like this woodshed, I'll tell you exactly what I did. Um, it's not too difficult. So on the floor, I went and bought some rough cut two by sixes. They were all 14 foot long and I cut them down to 12 foot and five foot. So 12 foot in the front here, in the back, 12 foot front there, 12 foot in the front back there. So I've got four 12 footers there. Then I've got, I think 14 five footers, if I'm not lying to you. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen 10, 16-inch centers. Then I've got one, two, three, four on the roof. So that is 14 five-footers. So um, then you've got your two-by-fours. The two-by-fours I bought from Lowe's. The rough cut I bought off a neighbor. I will say much cheaper, too. It was $7 a board for the rough cut two-by-six pine, which has been about 15 years old. And... Uh, it was some nice wood actually it was really nice soaked up the paint though but anyways back to the lumber i guess next we'll go with the flooring since we're working our way up i've got one buys down here which i ripped down to uh, with my table saw not table saw yeah table saw down to five inches i left a space in between not big enough for the air to flow but not big enough for your foot to go through that was one of the that was, that was the only criteria my wife gave me was do not make the holes wide enough for your foot to fall through which I totally agree with that. Uh, the flooring was um, one dollar a board, and they were like nine foot boards. Um, so I think I paid twenty dollars for that. Next, you got the uh, four by four posts. I totally forget how much they were. I want to say ten or twelve dollars for each one. You got one, two, three, four, five of those there. They were from Lowe's. The next thing I bought was from Lowe's as well. Well, actually, that was the first thing I bought. What are the two by fours? I have, I think, seven 12 footers, one, two, three, four across the back, and then three across the front for a screw plate for the roof. And I'll show you that up close here a little bit, a little bit later. And those are 12 footers. And then I've got the 10 footers in the side. Now the side serves two purposes. It keeps your wood from falling out so i don't have to put a rack here and anything, anything like that um but it also adds a little structural integrity to this building and they used to have four by four posts with some two by twelve strapped to it it kind of gets shaky you put these two by fours on it it's pretty good then and then i put four across the back um just to add some structural integrity as well but it also i think it looks just looks nice and i just did those every other one as you can see so you got for every two five footers, you got one two by 12. So two, you go up two, one, two, one. That makes sense? You skip every other one. Okay, the roof was the most expensive part of this project. Of course it was. Um, I really thought about how I wanted to do this. I thought about metal. I thought about the polycarbonate. I thought about even shingles. But I wanted something actually, because we don't get a whole lot of sun in this spot. I mean, we get a fair amount over this way when it comes up across the sky but when it's up i want it shining on that wood and really baking it and i thought well what better way to do that than this polycarbonate roof it was 26 dollars or 26 27 dollars a sheet and i had to get six sheets and if you're wondering does you have any overhang you do have a little overhang on each side to span more than 12 foot so each each um each polycarbonate sheet was a little over two feet so with the overlap 
gone down through. I did have a little bit of overhang on each end, which was nice. That should cover everything. Um, I mean, I had to paint. Overall, it took me, I'd say several days to do this, only because the weather was not cooperating. It kept raining on me. And then I would paint for a while. Um, then once that dried, I'd, I'd uh, bring the lumber over and build what I could. And I'd paint another day. Um, but you could definitely get this done probably on a weekend. If you paint, uh, I would cut all your pieces first and then, uh, and then paint everything. Because what I was coming into was I, cut, I painted all the 10-foot pieces because I had a different thought in my head how I wanted to use those. Um, and then I changed my mind and used them on the side. And I, and I cut them, I had to repaint the ends and that's just how my brain works. So overall, we got it done. The woodshed's uh, completed. And I did leave it to where I could add on to the end down here. I would just tie into these posts here and keep on running out that way with the exact same plan. And I left enough over overhang here where I can just slip another piece of paneling up in there and keep on running that way, which is what I'll probably do when I build the next one. So that's the woodshed, folks. It's much better than that one over there and 100 times better than this one right here. That's the next project tear that all down and get that uh, eyesore out of there so the inspiration for this woodshed was the wife she was tired of driving in here and seeing this ugly old woodshed that was here and the junk that was here so i cleaned it up with the tractor leveled it out as best i could and got to work is it 100 percent level no does it have to be no it's a woodshed as long as the rain sheds off that way i'm happy so now it's time to fill it up. Got a wagon full of wood back there. Got a lot more down the road that I already split. So it's time to fill this thing up and see how it works. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.